All right, guys, you got those chopped up pretty good. The next step is we're gonna put it right, the right by the fire and roast them up. All right, we got those cut up acorns put back in my canteen cup. Now we're just gonna keep mixing them up. We want them to get about a little more than golden brown. You want them to be almost burnt, really, but not too burnt. You want them almost black, pretty much. So just to kind of stir it around with your stick. Just wait. All right, guys, these are about done. After they're Almost black, but not too black. Pull them off the fire. Remember, if you burn them too much and they're completely black, they're going to lose all their nutritional value. So you're not going to get the vitamins and things in them. So you want to make sure that they're not too burnt. I mean, there's some that's going to get burnt, but it's not horrible if it happens to some of them, but if it happens to all of them, then you really want to watch out for it. See that? The camera adjusted here. See that down in there? Some of it's black, but That's not that big of a deal because it's not all completely black. Most of it's brown. So you're still going to get some of that nutritional value. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take a stick, good sized stick, and you're going to take, put it in here and just kind of crush all this up. Kind of like crushing coffee beans. guys we put this coffee on the fire for a while let it cool and last thing you got to do is give it a taste test that's really good it's a really strong like a strong black coffee except the taste a little bit nuttier it's really good actually it doesn't dissolve very good but if at all. But it works really well. Surprised it turned out so good. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's plenty of acorns in your woods. Just go out there and gather a bunch of them up and make yourself some coffee. Thanks for watching my video, guys. Subscribe, leave any comments, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.